this is Laura GB and in this video we're going to create a data flow. So here we are in our workspace in Power BI Online and up in the top left hand corner there's a new button and we're going to go for data flow. And when this comes up we get a number of options. The option we're going to look at today is define new entities. So we're going to add new entities then gives you a list of all the categories, all the data sources that you could be using for your data flow. And today we're going to go for SQL Server database. And it asks you for all the connection strings. So let's enter all those in. And once all those are entered in the bottom right hand corner, we click next. And it shows us the list of views and tables that are available. So we're going to pick the bottom three. So products, sales and shops. Now it will show you a preview eventually once it's connected up and there we are, we get to see our data. You don't have to preview them to select them though. So then we click transform data, bottom right hand corner again. And here we are in an online version of Power Query and you can add all the transforms that you need to do. For this data flow though, we're not going to do any transforms. We're going to leave them as they are. They've come through OK. And I'm going to click Save and Close. Takes a while to validate. And eventually it asks you for a name. So I'm going to put in Valentine data. And I'm just going to quickly put in a nice description. Products sales and shops so that I know what's in there and I'm going to click save and then it asks you your database has been saved but you've got to refresh it in order to load some data so we can either click refresh now there or if you miss that message we can go back into the workspace and there is our workflow and I can click refresh now for it to load some data and once it's finished refreshing we can then move across to Power BI and we can fetch that data in so under get data anyone who has access to your workspace can go to Power BI data flows And under your workspace there, there we are, there is my data flow and there are the tables listed. I can pick which ones I want to see. And there we are, they're ready and I can click load. And this means that I can give people access to that data without having to give them a database login. They just need to connect to the data flow. So there we are. If I switch across to data view, we can see I've got all three tables have come through from my data flow. That was creating a, creating a data flow. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.